Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Susina Sharon. So today, I just want to look cute. I don't know what look I'm going for exactly, but you shall know as per the title of this video. But there's a look I saw on Instagram. I think I am going to try that look today. I'm not sure. But before we do that, kindly subscribe. <laughs> Share your thoughts on the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of them. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. With no further ado, let us go straight into the video. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with the eyebrows today and I am using Davis number 3 like always. And if you're new to my channel, this is a technique, I my new favorite eyebrow technique. First, draw hair like structures with your eyebrow pencil before you actually start filling in. And then after all that, fill in your outer corner. And then after, clean your eyebrows using a concealer. And the concealer I am using to clean my brows is a Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. And then all the products I am using today are from uh, Makeup Overhaul on Instagram. I am going to leave uh, the link on the description box down below. So if you want to purchase any of these products, kindly check my description box. And before I apply eyeshadow i normally set my lids using a concealer and in this case i'm using the juvia's um, i am magic concealer in the shade 12 so make sure that area is completely blended out before you apply eyeshadow eyeshadow palette we're going for today is the festival by juvia's i am going to use the shade olo i am going to press that eyeshadow in around my cut crease region only I had to change the eyeshadow brush because the first brush I was using was not giving me the, you know, it factor, so. Okay, so next I'm going to use my finishing powder just to blend in the harsh lines around the edges. Keeping the eye look simple today, guys. So for eyeliner, I am going to use Revlon Liquid Eyeliner. For your wing eye, first start drawing a line from the corner of your lid going up. And then connect from the end of that line going down. And then after that, fill in first, then connect it to your inner corner. Okay guys, so this is how you make a simple eye look pop. So using an angled brush and a concealer, a small angled brush, a very very small angled brush, okay? And a concealer drew in between the area you drew your wing eye i said in between because you still want a, that line to have a structure so draw in between those lines after that use an eyeshadow color of your choice and uh, fill that in Actually use anything when it comes to this you can use glitter anything you really want me I chose blue because it's been long since I used blue that is how we were done with the eyes so moving on to the face I'm going to start off with elf hydrating moisturizer and I'm going to moisturize my skin and then let it first set before I apply primer on top of it Primer, I am going to use Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Then after massaging that onto my skin, I am going to leave it to set first before I apply foundation. Foundation today I am going to use NYX. For, is it NYX or NYX? Please, somebody correct me. Okay guys, so I'm going to use a damn beauty blender to blend that foundation in. And for the technique, 
tap, tap, tap until it blends in. Please don't drag it around. And when I tell you guys, I was shook by th this foundation. Honestly, look at the way it matches my skin tone perfectly. It's crazy. My mind is blown away, quite literally. Okay guys, so just an observation before we move on. On the bottle of the, this foundation, it says it is full coverage, but as you can see, we can still see my freckles. So I will term it as a full coverage per se. But on the other hand, it has such, such a natural finish to it and it blends in so smoothly. So I would still recommend it. Next to highlight, I am using the Juvia's I Am Magic Concealer in the shade number 12. And for this concealer, kindly use very small amounts of it because it is very creamy, number one, and very heavy, number two. And number three, it takes a while before it actually sets. So be very, be very careful, sorry. Uh, to set today, I'm going to use such a buttercup setting powder. And for the technique, using your beauty blender, dip the beauty blender onto your setting powder. Blow off the excess powder first before you actually start setting. And for setting, press, press, press until it blends in completely. So I am using illegal finishing powder in the shade Coco. Always use a smaller brush when it comes to contouring your nose. Okay, so next I'm going to reverse contour just to give my cheekbones a little structure. And for my under eyes, I am going to use a dark blue shade. Next I'm going to set my makeup using a concussion I made at home made of aloe vera, tea tree, water and some other a bunch of things I made at home. <laughs> Highlight I am going to use Cara Beauty highlighting palette. And guys another thing when you do this kindly remember to blend in using your finger. Don't leave your nose looking like it has one heavy line of a highlighter. Make sure you blend that in. I'm going to mix Colourpop in Mamacita and Revlon in uh, Obsession. Okay guys, so I have seen a lot of people complain about this lipstick, especially here in Kenya and I don't know why they complain about this lipstick because in my opinion it is actually really really good and the pigmentation is amazing as well. It is not matte but it is amazing. So this is the final look. Let me know what you think about this look on the comment section down below. Me personally, I have seen such an improvement on my side. I am so, so, so proud. I have seen your comments, your corrections. I don't take them lightly. I appreciate all of your feedback. Honestly, I do. Well, that would be it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting me. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.